hi welcome to technical expert word in this video i will show you that how to delete the temporary file from our device here you can see i have opened the powershell and just entered the temp and here you can see some of the file has been showed which should be deleted but i will not delete now i will look after the all total temp file which is not usable but also gathering your device memory and it being slower that's why we need to clear the temp file cause for our ram and the rom if you have fulfilled your rom by temp file your pc will be more slower than the previous here you can see many temp file has been shown using the percentage temp percentage mean this is the boot scanning system when you are using the percent now i am trying to use the same system like system boot for the edit sorry for the deletion of temporary file you can see here percent system root this is the explorer means exe which is already in your microsoft defender system explorer.exe that's why we are calling using the system root now temp and del if this command is not running that's why you need to know um, some of the settings or some of the calling problem is happening this is not a uh, very much solvable problem from here but we can solve it after my next video or next any kinds of tutorial i will give you some more information that how to run these types of command we are trying to make it run as administrator because sometimes uh, if you do not run as administrator some exceptional command or a special command will not be run but here the same case also happening like the previous I'm just trying to ensure the system that I have tried to using but I think so this problem will happening the same things and here you can see some of the example is also same like I have used but okay this is not a problem but one of the new command we are trying to enter on the cmd but what happened i don't know let's try yes here already this command has run and some of the temp file has been deleted but still some of the temp file is existing in our temp library or temp folder so that's why we need to use the powershell is better than the cmd prompt in this case so here you can see all the temp file has been shown and we can delete ctrl a and del
I think uh, here you can see one of the main difference is when you delete by the command inside the command prompt for the temp file deletion some of the temp file is really deleted but still the temp folder is not empty so I need to I think this is the best way to process using the PowerShell and make it solvable but here you can see some of the white colored file marked this is not the existing file actually this is the rar file so you need to delete the yellow color marked all file and that should be deleted so this is the main things i have shown you and this is the end of the video and hope you like this video for a uh, learning purpose this is not so much mandatory but many of them many of us don't know about these things so thanks for watching my video